At the foundation of TinyBird, you'll find workspaces. Workspaces are collaborative environments where you can develop and deploy TinyBird data projects. Every workspace has its own members, data sources, endpoints, pipes, tokens, and more. TinyBird users create workspaces to logically separate work. Usually, that means creating unique workspaces for development, staging, and production environments, but feel free to separate your workspaces however works best for you and your team. In this screencast, I'll show you how to create a workspace using the TinyBird CLI. Let's get to it. Okay, so go ahead and open up your shell, install the TinyBird CLI in a Python virtual environment, initialize a TinyBird data project, and authenticate to TinyBird with the admin token from your personal workspace. Once you authenticate, that token is stored in the .tinyb file in the local directory. Now first, let's see what workspace commands are available to you in the TinyBird CLI with TB workspace and the help flag. So you'll get a list of workspace related commands. Now we're going to create a workspace, so let's use TB workspace create. But before we create one, let's see our options. If you add the help flag, which you can do for any TinyBird CLI command, you'll see the options you have when creating workspace. One particularly useful option here is the fork flag. This will automatically share all the data sources from your current workspace with the workspace that you are creating. This is a great way to deploy tests as a part of a CI CD pipeline, for example. Now let's go ahead and create a new workspace and call it test workspace. We'll do that with TB workspace create and test workspace. You'll then be prompted for your user token. Note that this is different from the token that you use to authenticate to the CLI and it's workspace agnostic. If you don't have your user token saved as an environment variable, you can grab it in the UI under auth tokens. So go ahead and paste that into the prompt and press enter. Now, if you type TB workspace LS, you can see that new workspace in a list of workspaces that you have available to you in this TinyBird cluster. You can switch to that new workspace with TB workspace use and the workspace name. Now you can also invite your team to this new workspace so that they can contribute to the project. Just type TB workspace members add and then the emails of your favorite devs. Finally, one thing that is especially important if you're using workspaces for things like testing is that you can use the CLI to either clear the resources in the workspace or delete it entirely. To clear the resources in a workspace, type TB workspace clear, and if you're sure about it, use the yes flag to skip the confirmation step. This will remove everything in the workspace, data sources, pipes, endpoints, tests, and tokens but it won't remove members. So if you have a particular workspace that you want to reuse for things like tests, clear can be a really nice option. Deleting the workspace is as simple as TB workspace delete, the workspace name, and then you can also use that yes flag to skip the confirmation prompt. This will remove the workspace from your TinyBird account and it is permanent. And that is how you create and manage a TinyBird workspace using the CLI. See you next time. <laughs>